Hello, welcome to Spirituality Simplified. It's so good to be back this week with you guys. I took last week off. Um, I needed some time to just reflect and kind of go inward and be with myself. And, um, you know, we've talked about February's energies were a little bit crazy. And with the Mercury retrograde, like it was, it's just been different this year. And I just needed some time to go in and reflect and see what was going on, you know, with, with my life. So um, it's interesting, the last message that we had from the last episode, which was the channeled messages from New Earth and Mother Gaia, um, spirit of New Earth, you know, that really resonated with me. And it really became apparent to me how much I am seeing and experiencing this ascension. And not only all around me, but within my own self. Um, I needed to sit with Mother Gaia's message for a while and find out really what that all meant for me. So for this week's podcast, I heard to share with you all my experience and the messages that I heard from my true self and spirit guides that may help you on your journey as well. So this may resonate with you now, or it may resonate with you at a later date. That's the beauty of divine timing. Um, sometimes you're called to listen back to certain episodes or read certain things when it's the right time for you. So as you know, I always say, take what resonates and discard the rest. So I'm going to read this channeled messages, uh, message that I received and include some of my own insights as well, because I'm really essentially channeling this from my true self um, and my guides as well. Um, so hopefully this strikes a chord with you and gives you that inspiration that you need this week. The time is now to pounce on those ideas. What has been holding you back? Take some time to examine this. Is it fear? Is it pain? Is it a trigger from a past experience? Is it a lack of motivation? What is preventing you from pursuing your dreams? The universe wants you to succeed in your mission and will support you in any way that you need. If you are following your path and fulfilling a calling, the universe is going to make sure that happens no matter what. Yes, we all have our own journey and life lessons we are to learn along the way, but source provides all your needs and source lies within your own heart. All you have to do is reach in and ask, what do I need today? What do I need to fulfill my mission on earth? And then ask your light to fill you up with this. If fears of money are holding you back, then ask your inner light to fill you up with financial freedom. If lack of motivation is holding you back, ask your inner light to fill you up with bliss and inspiration. If lack of direction is holding you back, ask your light to fill you up with clarity. The shift is occurring. Changes are happening. Change is a constant and will only continue throughout this year and years to come. But that is what makes it such a perfect time to follow your calling. The energy is open and free. You are free to explore and try new things because your soul is calling you to do so. If you have been feeling literally repelled by your job, environment, hobbies, books, whatever, all of a sudden, this is your sign that it's time to hop on this wave of change because it is flowing easily and joyfully right now. Yes, change can be hard. And frankly, we have experienced so much change in the past year. And some of you may be fed up and craving some stability. There will be a time for that. But with everything so open and free, any action you take will be fully supported by the universe. 
And as Mother Gaia said in the message channeled on the last episode, new earth has been born. And with that comes a whole new energy, one of growth, exploration, innovation, and change. New earth was born because we needed to change. Our planet, societal system, and the way we were treating each other needed a major transformation. And we sure got that transformation. (laughs) This year is all about trying to figure out what to do next. Last year, we had lots of major disruptions that shook things up. Now we're trying to clear the debris and make room for new growth and involvement. That means there's lots of confusion and fear, dust in the air. You know, life as we know it no longer exists. So we are forced to see things in a new light and make changes that are aligned with this new positive and light-filled energy that is emerging with new earth. So it's totally natural if you've been experiencing feelings of confusion, doubt, and uncertainty, but this is a good thing. This is causing you to question and examine your life. Are you in a place that brings you joy and fulfillment? Do you feel true love for yourself, others, and the planet? Do you feel you are making a contribution and serving others? Your feelings on these topics may have changed recently. I know they have for me. I will say this year has been a complete 180 for me. I feel like I woke up from a dream and I'm in the same place, but everything looks completely different. I've been examining my own life and business and everything in my life and asking the questions, am I following my bliss? Am I listening to my true self and living 100% authentically? How can I best serve my clients in a way that aligns with this new earth energy? What choices can I make in my own life that support these changes? How can I change my views and perspectives to reflect the true nature of our world? And which beliefs are being challenged right now? So I took some time off last week to really go inward and reflect on my life. And I needed to reassess. And that's okay. It's good to do that. Every once in a while, you know, again, there's so much change. There's so much happening. It's good to kind of take pause and say, okay, where am I? Is this right? Or, you know, what changes, what tweaks do I need to make? And I will be honest, you know, at first I judged this and thought, is this the right thing to do to change things up and shake things up again? You know, along with the rest of the world, I feel my life and business has been in constant state of transformation and change. <laughs> I thought if I change things up again, then I'm going to look flighty and organized and all over the map, right? But that was my ego talking. That is not my truth. I had to take a real look at myself and connect with my true self, my inner light, my soul, to see the truth of what was happening and explain the higher purpose of why I was feeling completely different. The truth is, I am just getting super clear with who I am, what I'm here to do, and who I'm here to help. With this clarity comes some fine tuning. So it's all about looking at things from a different perspective. It's not change and confusion. I'm just honing my skills and becoming super targeted in my mission. That's not flailing around and being flighty. That's settling into the foundation that I have been building all of my life. These are the views and perspectives from my true self and not my ego or what society wants me to think or feel. So it's all about, again, it's it's about your perspective. Um, I have a a story I'll share with you. And it's kind of silly, but... (laughs) You know, it it always applies, right? There's always things we go through that can be applied to this bigger picture, right? So this, you know, I'm in Colorado, we go skiing. Um, I'm, you know, pretty new. I skied in college 20 years ago, but 
I would say I'm a, you know, a beginner. Um, but I'm getting, you know, with, I've got a couple seasons under my belt, so I'm getting to the blues now. Um, but we went skiing this past weekend and, you know, um, it was a beautiful day. It was one of those bluebird days. It was not a cloud in the sky. The sun was shining. The temperature was amazing. It was just perfect. I was feeling really good and super confident, like, yes, I've got this. I was trying out new runs and, um, you know, exploring some blues, which is pretty good for me. (laughs) Um, So, you know, we decided to do a little exploring and try a different part of the mountain. And, you know, I had been kind of skiing all morning and I was I was getting tired. Um, and part of this last run that we were on, it just seemed like it kept going uphill, which is weird, but <laughs> you kept having to kind of hike uphill on these catwalks is what they're called. So it's very exhausting and it was getting hot and I was tired. Right. <laughs> so there's these signs everywhere, right? Like these big signs said the easiest way this way, right. Which was still going uphill but I was tired and I just wanted to get down the mountain at that point. So I decided I looked to the right, which would be going up, you know, this quote easiest way, (laughs) which was truly was the easiest way. Um, But then I looked to the left and I was like, well, maybe we do this little shortcut that's off the beaten path. And, you know, it seems like that would actually get us down a lot quicker. Well, um, this shortcut was cutting literally across the mountain. So it wasn't going down. It was going sideways <laughs> and it ended up being this super steep black diamond mountain, like in fear totally took over, you know, I'm just, I'm not ready for that at all. And I wasn't expecting that. And I was super tired. And so I got to this point where I was like paralyzed, like I just couldn't move. And I was like stuck in this tense position and my back just started freezing up. I was getting Charlie horses in my back. And I was like, literally paralyzed with fear and pain. I was like, I don't think I can move. I cannot get down this mountain. I started freaking out. Right. But I knew I had to, I had, we were kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like this was like the back kind of part of the mountain. So there's not a lot of people around. Um, but my sweet husband, he was a good coach. He helped me down, which was really nice. Um, so eventually I did get down. It may have taken me 30 minutes, but, um, you know, I eventually just, I, I got down to the safe flat part and I will be honest, once I got to that part, I just totally broke down into tears. (laughs) I needed to release that emotion though. There was so much built up from that. And I just, oh, I felt so good to release that. I felt so good. I was on like flat land again and, (laughs) Um, So, you know, I share this because, you know, of course, I love to um, figure out what the higher purposes of situations that come across my life. And I always want to know, you know, what does this mean if there is a higher purpose? You know, I feel like everything is so purposeful. Um, So I felt like there was something powerful in this experience. So I asked my true self and my guides, and I realized that if I can conquer this mountain, I can do anything. Like that really showed me my true strength and power and willpower and ability to just trudge through any challenge. Like this was really hard for me. You know, this was, I'm not a super like adrenaline junkie. Like I don't, you know, I'm I'm pretty kind of easygoing. I don't do a lot of like hardcore sports. So skiing is, you know, a little more challenging for me. It's, It's definitely, um, challenges me in terms of, you know, facing my fears and, um, you know, pushing myself and, and kind of conquering that. So I just, I feel like, gosh, if I can get through that, like that makes everything else seem like a cakewalk that I'm going through. (laughs) Um, so it was kind of nice because any fears I had going forward, I mean, with my next steps and what's going on in my life, like that was gone completely. Just remember that moment on the mountain. (laughs) I literally pushed myself past the physical pain and fear and got down that mountain safely. So going through this kind of made me realize how much, you know, strength and, um, you know, it's interesting too, um, after thinking about it, I also realized that sometimes the signs are right there in front of you, 
but you choose to ignore them. I think a lot of times, you know, we're all guilty of this. Like, you know, in your heart, the right decision, but, and it's usually like right there in front of you, but you can be blind to that and you can choose to ignore it. Right. We have free will. You can choose to do whatever you want to do. Um, you know, in my case, in the situation, I was really tired. I was in really high altitude. I was hot. <laughs> and so, I mean, I wasn't really thinking clearly to make good decisions. I wasn't really connected with my true self at that moment, <laughs> but the signs were right there. I mean, it was pretty clear. There was a, a literally a sign that said easiest way here. Okay. But I ignored that. And but the thing is, is regardless of which path I took, either the easy way or the one I did, I was going to make it out okay. And this same concept goes with finding your purpose. You know, if you quiet the mind, you go inward and connect with your soul, the signs of which path are aligned to you will become crystal clear like that. And you have free will and you can choose another path if you want. You will always learn from it and will make it out on the other side, but it may not be the easiest, most blissful and joyful way like me. <laughs> I struggled on that other path, should have taken the easy one. Um, so again, it's all about looking at things from a different perspective. So, you know, I'm not afraid to go skiing again. Like that wasn't like traumatizing to the point where you know, I, I couldn't go. That's what was really cool. That was something I did notice. Like after that all happened, I mean, that was like a big deal for me personally. Um, but I'm not scared of it. Like, I'm not afraid to go back. Like I'm totally excited to go back skiing, but knowing this information, I will make better decisions next time. And I will know which path is more aligned with me. <laughs> so I'm just honing in on and becoming super clear on my truth of what I can do and what will bring me the most ease and joy when I go skiing. So I'm going to listen to my inner voice and, you know, be true to myself next time I go skiing. <laughs> but again, the moral of the story is if you have fears and uncertainty about making a change, go into your true self and ask for the clarity and signs that you need. And even if you make a slight detour, it's okay. The universe is still supporting you and will eventually lead you back to the right path. And sometimes you actually need to take that detour. You are meant to take that detour so that you can gain that new perspective, which will help lead you back down the right path. So you have so much more strength and perseverance than you probably realize. I mean, that's one thing I've really learned in this experience. It really tests that, you know, it's it tests your willpower. <laughs> Can I do this? Yes, I know. And I just kept saying that, you know, in addition to praying to Archangel Michael the whole time, <laughs> I, you know, I was like, I can do this. I know I can do this. It might take me a little while, but I'll get down. And I did. I did. And besides being a little sore, I was unscathed. <laughs> so if you're resonating with this message, then I encourage you to take some time to connect with your inner light and find out the truth of your feelings. What is holding you back and preventing you from taking that next step? Are they your feelings or the feelings of the collective or maybe both? Do you need to clear these feelings out of your energy field? And what do you need to fill up with to help move you past this block? because the time to act is now. Remember, this is a five year. So 2021, two plus two plus one equals five. And five represents freedom. It may not seem like that right now, but energetically so much has lifted, clearing the way for you to see the truth of your own life, the people in it, and the environment around you. This is the year of true clarity. Some of the truths being exposed are not pretty, but as Mother Gaia said, so much more light is being illuminated at the same time because we're getting closer and closer to source. So this light is helping you to see what is and isn't working for you. And true knowledge is power, so powerful. 
So good or bad, this newfound truth that's surfacing for you can really help you realize and actualize your true purpose in this lifetime, which is true freedom. That's totally the, I feel like fulfilling your true purpose is the definition of true freedom. (laughs) It's amazing. So don't ignore those feelings, you know, explore them and act on them if you feel called to. And try not to worry about what others think. You know, it's easy to do, you know, like I mentioned before, I fell prey to that. That's an ego thing. You know, you just do you. And the truth is so many of us are so used to change from all the craziness of last year that really nothing is that shocking anymore. (laughs) This is the new norm, right? And truth be told, others are probably, you know, feeling the same way you do and will be inspired by your courage to act. So, you know, if you're, if you aren't feeling this urge to try something new, that's okay too. Remember that we are all on our own journeys and we experience these shifts in energy in different ways. Your role right now may just be to hold space for others to ascend and grow. So I hope that this message has helped to lift your spirits this week. I just wanted to relay that. So that was kind of partly, you know, channeled from my true self, um, my spirit guides, but also, of course, I had my own thoughts and experiences in there. Um, But it really just comes down again to just sometimes just looking at things from a new and different perspective can provide so much healing and provide those answers and clarity that you're seeking. So um, I just have one quick announcement here. Uh, so, you know, of course, speaking of change, you know, this I've, I, I've got some revelations during my time off, which was great. Kind of got, again, I'm honing in more on my skills and what I'm here to do. So um, I've decided to merge the Spirituality Simplified Facebook group with my LinkedIn group, which is called Your Soul at Work. So as of Monday, March 8th, 2021, the group on Facebook will no longer exist. So I'd love for you, if you're part of that group, to come over to the LinkedIn group. And, you know, I did this because it's kind of in the spirit of this podcast, right? Like simplify. I'm trying to simplify by having everything be in one place. So I feel um, I really wanted to merge these two groups. So I still have my YouTube channel. You'll still gain first access to new episodes. There's still going to be opportunities for Q&A and topic suggestions. But now you'll also gain access to weekly meditations, sound healings, and more channeled messages to help support you on your spiritual journey. You know, I mentioned on previous episodes, I've been feeling this call to bridge the gap between spiritual and corporate worlds, um, which is a big gap. (laughs) Um, So this, you know, was the catalyst to really creating this group on LinkedIn, the Your Soul at Work LinkedIn group. And this group provides a safe space for you to share and receive support and spiritual guidance to help keep you high vibe and connected to your inner light throughout your work day. You know, work is typically a very ego driven place. So it can be really hard to remember to, you know, work from the heart and always be connected to your light. Um, But my mission is to really help change that corporate energy and structure to one that is more love filled, positive and open minded. You know, some companies are doing this really well, which is awesome. Um, but really it all starts with the people. It all starts with you. So by you shining your light and leading from the heart changes the entire corporate landscape and this beautiful new energy that is so aligned with new earth starts cascading out from there. So it's really important for us to remember to remain connected to our true selves, to be able to see work situations from a different perspective to understand the higher purpose, understand the energetic dynamics occurring and how to manage those and how to see your teammates from a soul level. So if we all work this way, I mean, imagine the creation and the innovation that would occur. I mean, business is gonna be totally different. 
It's amazing. So I'm super excited. Come join me, come help change the world, work world. Um, and I'll include the link to this LinkedIn group in the show description. Um, but I just wanted to make that announcement and I'll, I'll mention it again next week as well. And of course, don't forget to sign up for my mailing list, which is on my website, soulhealingwithally.com. I'll include that link in the description as well. And thanks again for listening or watching today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. And remember to keep it spiritual, but keep it simple. Thanks, guys. See you next time.